If we don't do something drastic to slow climate change, then a small nine and a half inch takeaway pizza could cost nearly 20 quid in just 10 years time. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a master student currently learning how to model and predict the detrimental impact of climate change. Now we all know the ice caps are melting and the Amazon is being massacred and well basically the world is going to shit. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the smaller everyday things that are going to change in the near future if we don't act now. What I'm going to be talking about is food. Food prices are going to skyrocket and one of the main driving forces for this is climate change. Climate change makes the weather hotter, drier and less predictable which is a nightmare for agriculture. Since 2000, food prices have been increasing at an average rate of 2.6% per year. Now at first glance, this may not seem like a big deal, but if we think about what this means for the next 5, 10 or 20 years time, then we can see just how damaging this could be. A standard loaf of bread, now costing around £1.20. It will rise to 136 in 5 years, 155 in 10, to a hefty £2 in 20 years. Now £2 for a loaf of bread doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world, but if we think about it, that's almost double what it is now. Now let's take a box of chocolate cereal. This would rise from £3.30 to £3.75 to £4.27 and to £5.50 in 20 years. The nine and a half inch cheese and tomato takeaway pizza. Yeah, you know the ones that are so tiny that you eat them and you're left insanely unsatisfied. Now costing around £13, it will rise to over £15 in five years, over £17 in 10, and a whopping £22 in 20 years time. I for one will never be paying that. Now the truly scary thing about these figures is that this will be the price if and only if this rate stays the same. Climate scientist Michelle Tichilia led a study on global warming's effects on corn yields. She found that with a 2 degree rise in global temperatures, something that could quite easily happen by 2040, then the corn's production could decrease significantly. But why does this matter? Well. To relate this to food prices, we actually have to go back to the early 70s, when one summer of temperatures about 2 to 4 degrees above the average in just Ukraine and Russia caused the global average price of wheat to triple. We are heading for this kind of summer to become the norm across the globe. We can't fully predict what will happen then, but I mean, my bet is that it definitely will not be good. So yeah, climate change really isn't just an issue for the faraway future. So what can we do to prevent this? Well, if you're able to, then there are all the classic everyday things like reducing your waste, eating less meat, buying secondhand, and avoiding single-use plastics. But without a doubt, the most important thing is for governments and big companies to change their ways. Put pressure on governments to introduce environmental policies Put pressure on big companies to become more sustainable. Hold these people accountable. Sign petitions, use your vote, let your voice be heard. It's either that or prepare to start spending a lot more on food.